This is Francine Nguyen with the Channel 3 Update. The Los Amigos boys soccer team have an impressive record with no losses, 18 wins and one tie after winning their first two CIF playoff games. The Lobos face Paso Robos in round three. The first half of the game was scoreless, but things got interesting in the second half as Luis Lopez gets it past defenders for the shot and it's blocked and Ricardo Ramirez rebounds and still no good. The Bearcats are in trouble with this corner kick and the goalpost gets in the way of a Lobos scorer not once but twice. Great offensive efforts by Lobos' Chris Echevera. Nearing the end of the game, the Bearcats' defense makes it next to impossible for the Lobos. Here, Marco Goot clears the ball, keeping Paso Robos out of trouble. It's 0-0 zero zero and we are in overtime. Lobos gets a free kick and Christian Torres is ready. But the Bearcats' defense is too much. Angel Garcia keeps the ball away from the Lobos and takes it down the field. Another scoring attempt by Amel Mendoza draws an offsides call. The crowd is upset. After going into overtime and still unable to score, it became a battle of nerves, the Lobos having just five shots to win the game. The crowd goes silent as Francisco Valdez is the first of five to go for the Lobos. And he gets the shot. It's the first score of the evening. It's 2-0 Lobos. The pressure is on for Angel Garcia to score. And goal! It's a one-point game. Here, Luis Lopez kicks it past the goalie. It's now a two-point game. Chris Estrevera makes this kick. It's the third score of the night. I just thought of it as a practice shot and practice, so I just focused on that and like, I cleared my mind out of like other people outside and I just focused on the shot. The fate of the game lies in Brian Mercado's hands. And it's game over for Paso Robos. After hitting the crossbar and post six times without scoring, Los Amigos advances to the quarterfinals for the fourth time in 10 years. Well, we're still not done. It's one step closer to that big championship, so it's one step closer. You know, I'd be lying if I wouldn't say uh, state and CIF. So um, we've been there before in 06. We won it. Uh, the kids are anxious to go back and do it again. This is Francine Nguyen with the Channel 3 Update.